Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff. Today we are going to talk about a problem that I have and probably some of you might also suffer from this affliction. And it's that when you first get into making things out of wood or probably some other hobbies, uh, but this is specifically referencing making things out of wood, um, every piece of wood that you see looks like a diamond that you must own because that person is not charging enough money for that diamond and you know that it's a valuable diamond is a bad reference because diamonds are a scam but it, you know i think you know what i mean every piece of wood looks like so yeah the, the the possibilities are endless for this piece of wood and and these pieces of wood you see on facebook marketplace or on craigslist like Random wood, just come get it for 30 bucks and you can have it all. And then you go, oh, I'm going to take my truck and I'm going to get all the wood. And yay, wood, because it, wood's expensive. So when you see it for cheap, you buy it. And then when you go into the, the hardwood dealer and they've got a brand new lift of like African mahogany and it's only six bucks a board foot or something and you go, oh, right. And you have no idea, like, you don't have anything that you're making with African mahogany. You don't have a plan for this stuff. And you don't have a plan for the pile of stuff on the side of the road with the free sign on it. That's for damn sure. Uh, but it goes in the truck and it comes home. So today we're going to talk about how I, I have that problem and uh, how I've been dealing with that problem and what I'm going to do moving forward to try and mitigate that problem that I'm acknowledging that I have. <sighs> yes, I, my name is Mike and I'm a wood hoarder, apparently. Not as bad as some, I don't think, but it's, it's gotten to the point where I've put up the last rack that I can fit on the wall and they're all full. And that might not seem like a problem to some people, but it is. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Let's look at my wood. No, that sounds bad. That sounds terrible. Let, we're, let's look at the wood that I have up on the wall on the racks. <laughs> okay, so this is one corner of the shop. This rack here, uh, you can see has the base layer is the leftover pieces of the African mahogany that I made my coffee table out of. I'll put a link to the coffee table. I have a, a series of build videos that I did on my African mahogany coffee table. That first row is the leftovers that I had from that because, like I said, new lift at the hardwood dealer. I decided to make my coffee table out of it because it was relatively inexpensive for the quality of the wood. And I just bought a couple of sticks every time I went by the building and not knowing what the coffee table was going to require or whatever. So I ended up with maybe 25 extra board feet of African mahogany. On top of that is uh, some scrap to so one of these Facebook finds the guys like hey come take all of my hobby hardwood and it's like broken down oak coffee tables and uh, some pieces of Philippine mahogany some eight quarter Philippine mahogany and a whole whack of like repurposed oak from various other things coffee tables and bookshelves and stuff like that uh, got is a whole whack of wood for only a hundred dollars and it was probably like you know it's 800 bucks worth of wood if you were buying it new but so that's a bunch of oak on top of the African mahogany that top rack up there is all my Douglas fir I've got a buddy that works at a lumber yard and they cut a lot of Douglas fir uh, it's a mill mill right as well and so he all all the time he's like hey do you want this pile of like off cuts and when we're talking offcuts from this guy, we're talking some of those are 12 feet length by 10 feet wide offcuts. 10, 10 feet wide? No. 10 inches, 10, 12 inch wide. That big guy right there that you can see is about 12 feet long, 12 inches wide, four quarter straight grain Douglas fir. Free. It's just like, we need to get rid of this. I'll drop some of it off at your house. I'm like, okay. Sure. Uh, so that's my Douglas fir collection up there. That's my cedar collection up there. It's probably another 80 board feet of cedar. 
same kind of thing. There's scraps that I pick up around people giving away for free or selling for super cheap, and it just piles up. That's my cherry rack there. Uh, lumber yard, six bucks a board foot cherry that I hadn't seen for six bucks before, so I bought that. You guys are not in focus. Probably make a coffee table or an end table or something out of that pretty soon. Uh, my walnut rack down here and scrap, scrap offcuts from other projects that are worth keeping. Uh, it's probably another 30 feet of walnut plus a bunch of scraps. Uh, then up over there, that's the new rack full of maple. I needed a place to put a bunch of maple. That all came out of that $100 um, Facebook find as well. And that's this half of the shop. Now I got up under the uh, up under the door of the garage. Let's go to the other side. At least that side, those boards, most of them are for a specific project, specific plan. Let's look at those. All right, so around this side of the shop, underneath the garage door, this is all sapili. All of this, over there and over there, is all four quarter and eight quarter sapili that I'm gonna use to make the Matt Cremona sideboard project in Wood Whisperer Guild probably next spring. So that has a purpose. That was bought for a specific reason, but it's like 80 board feet plus of Sapili. Where do you keep that while you're waiting for, you know, most people don't have a place to just have 80 board feet of hardwood laying around for a year. Like I started buying that this past spring, one or two boards at a time every time I go by the shop. Cause that way, you know, you don't feel, you don't feel the hit so bad when you're paying, you know, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, 70 bucks every couple of weeks to build up your stash to build your $900 worth of wood project, right? So that is why the Sapili is up there. Over there, one more rack, that's the last rack. That's all the pine and a little bit more Douglas fir. So pine, Sapili, Douglas fir, uh, African mahogany and oak, cedar, cherry, walnut. What am I doing with my life? You guys got this problem? Anybody else have this problem? Anyway, this is how I've come up with the solution to this problem. The solution to this problem is getting it up on the walls. If you have better ideas than that for however many hundreds board feet this is, please tell me. Uh, but my current solution is I'm going to just use this. Whatever I'm making for the next however long it takes to clear out some of these racks, this stuff over here, the Sapili is for a specific purpose, like I said. So that I can't really touch for other projects. But the next however many projects I have are going to be made out of cherry and walnut and cedar and Douglas fir and reclaimed oak and African mahogany and maple. And it's going to be the stuff that I already have. I'm not buying any more wood. Until I have, okay, I'm going to pledge this to you guys. I'm going to decide right now on the spot. And I'm going to stand by it. I have one, two, three, four, five, six racks full of wood. The seven racks, seven racks full of wood. Other than the two that are for a specific purpose. I am not going to buy any more wood until I have three empty racks that's that's my goal moving forward for the rest of 2019 and probably into 2020 i am not going to purchase any more wood until i have three empty racks out of my seven okay good talk thanks for watching Please tell me if you have better ways to store wood than these racks up on the wall. And uh, wish me luck using up a bunch of this wood. Does fire pit count as using the wood? Because <laughs> some of this might be going in the fire pit. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Oh, that, that is not even this. Oh, you know what? I'm not done.
Let's go round two of the tour. Follow me. All right, so this is sheet good storage over here and a little bit more cedar that it couldn't fit up on the rack. But most of this is scraps of sheet good over here. And they're like, that's a terrible solution. What, what the hell kind of solution is this to storage? Like, over here, we got some more sheet good over here. I'm buying this step stool ladder thing. Some more sheet good. Oh my God. Okay, now let's go over here. There's a piece of a maple table that I got. That's part of that $100 uh, come take my wood thing that I was talking about. There's a piece of a big maple table. Here's a couple more pieces of that big maple table. What am I going to do with that? Like, come on. And then we got this drawer that's full of scrap off cuts that were cool looking, I guess, when I cut them off. I'm keeping them for some reason in this drawer. It's a substantial drawer full of offcuts that what am I going to do with that? Over here in the Batman drawer. Let's pull that out. Show you what's in there. More wood. Exotic hardwood bits. Like, oh, Mike. Okay, so like I said, Look at that. Here's some more wood under here. That looks like mostly bits of pallet. Bits of pallet. Okay, anyway, that's it for today. There's, a, you know what? There's more beside the house. I got these two big cedar, the yellow cedar beams beside the house. I've got a, a log of maple that a buddy took down a tree in his front yard and asked me if I wanted a piece of it. And I said, yes. Because it's what I do. I say yes when people say, do you want this wood? It's a log. Like, what? I got another, uh, an old quarter sawn white oak tabletop. It's cut in half. Sitting beside my house. No more wood purchases. This is my pledge to you folks and myself. No more wood purchases, even if it's cheap on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, until I have three empty racks and nothing leaning against the side of my house. No more wood. I have a problem. And I'm glad that you're here to listen to me rant about my problem. Commiserate with me. Commiserate! with me down in the comments tell me that you also have this problem <sighs> and if you tell me you you like to have that problem you don't understand the problem it's stressful having that much wood it seems like it would be awesome to just oh i don't have to go buy wood for the next 14 projects i make that sounds great but then you look at you decide on a project and you look at it and you go actually i kind of want to make this out of paduk or something <laughs> you know like Okay, no more wood. Thanks for watching. See you next time when I'm building something out of some of this wood. Bye for now. Oh, look at that. Here's some more wood under here. That looks like mostly bits of pallet. Bits of pallet.